On a clear day off the coast of Sinop, Turkey, something happened that defense experts insisted was still years away. An aircraft with no pilot, no hands on the controls, no human instincts guiding it, locked onto a supersonic target dozens of miles out, fired a missile beyond visual range and hit it dead center. This wasn't a movie scene or some futuristic promo video. This was Turkey's Bayraktar Kuzalelma, and it just became the first unmanned fighter jet on Earth to score a verified BVR air-to-air -air kill. Not the US, not China, Turkey. Imagine five F-16s from Mertzifon Air Base slicing through the sky. Then imagine a sixth aircraft flying with them, sleek, angular and completely unmanned. That's Kuzalelma, whose name, Red Apple, refers to an ancient Turkish symbol for unreachable ambitions. But this time the unreachable wasn't so unreachable after all. During the test, a jet-powered target drone launched into the range. The moment it appeared, Kuzlelma's Murad Isa, radar built entirely in Turkey, locked on without hesitation. It tracked the target, calculated the perfect intercept angles, and fed everything into its fire control system. Then from under its wing, a Gökdoğan missile dropped, ignited, and tore across the sky at supersonic speed. Moments later, a clean, direct hit. Watching from above were F-16 pilots, commanders, engineers, and the people who built every piece of this system from scratch. Another Bayraktar drone captured the whole thing. This wasn't a tech demo. It was a message. Yes, drones have fired missiles before, but never like this. The US MQ-9 has fired at slow, close targets. China has shown drones carrying missiles but hasn't proven a real intercept. Kuzalelma just did something no unmanned aircraft has ever done. It tracked and destroyed a fast, maneuvering jet at long range. That's not incremental progress, that's a leap. How did Turkey manage this? Simple, everything was theirs. The jet-powered Kuzalelma built for speed and altitude. The powerful ESA radar packed with fighter-grade sensing and the Gokdoan missile designed for true beyond visual range combat. Each part was developed domestically, and more importantly, they were all made to work together. And that's why this matters, because Alelma flying beside F-16s wasn't just a pretty formation. It was a preview of a new kind of air warfare where unmanned fighters take the risks, push into dangerous airspace and strike first, while human pilots stay safer in the background. On that day in Sinop, Turkey didn't just test a weapon, it stepped into the future, and it showed the world that the future might arrive sooner than anyone expected.